Hey guys, welcome back to Run for the Hills. I'm going on a little trip. Come along with me. So the tire table kind of fits up here and it kind of snugs in so uh right above the roll bar so that's kind of neat actually but that's where i used to keep my um solar panel so I, I don't think i even need these little straps i just put them on there for safety but uh so my solar panel um it kind of tucks in behind the tire table there if you can see the solar panel there and then goes up in behind the speaker mounts so that's kind of neat. I was thinking about getting a, you know, a newer solar panel that just folds up. But um, I keep finding new ways to store things. And that's kind of neat. So I think that takes care of my problem. I used to keep the tire table under this stuff and under that. But then it's the first thing I want to use. So when I go to pull it out, well, I can't find it. So anyways, that's kind of neat. So, uh just kind of getting things organized and that looks pretty good right there I think tell me what you think okay well I think um, I've got everything kind of nicely organized got rid of the heater bringing an extra water tank this time kind of felt like I was getting a little low the other ones over on the other side try and balance it because they're heavy and I'm uh, ready to go out on a little trip. Here and see, it's windy out here down by the ocean. Well, actually, I'm kind of above the ocean. I've never noticed this before, though. I guess somebody must have a place down here. There's no address. So I just want to take a quick look and see what's down here. But if nothing else, look at that view. That is fantastic. What's down there? Maybe it is a camp, but there's no name. Well, where this goes, who knows? I guess I could drive down here, but I don't want to camp here anyways because the wind is so bad. But that's something definitely to check out. Of course, now I gotta walk all the way back up here. Well, I'm still trying to find a place to camp and um, I'm uh, heading kind of towards Port Renfrew. Uh, there's little logging roads and stuff that I've never been up, so I'll as well do a little exploring. Uh, the one I'm currently on, I don't know where it goes, but we're gonna find out in just a sec. And that is guaranteed to scratch up my Jeep. So, let's find something else. really trying to get cloudy on me. Kind of hoping that uh, doesn't turn into anything. Because it's supposed to be warm and sunny.
So I found this neat place, and uh, but when I went in there, it was a broken down old um, trailer mobile home thing, and there was a guy living there on this little spot here. I'll show you. It's kind of a neat little space out of the wind. But uh, right around the corner to the left there, there's somebody living there. He was like, oh, it's cool if you want to camp there for the night. And I'm like, nah, that's okay. <laughs> there you go. Time to move on again. Well, this seems pretty in here. Just off the road. Sorry if it's a little bit shaky, but my... Uh just got my phone up here on the dash so it's uh, usually have the Osmo action camera there but I don't know so I'm just going down here to see what it is uh, it looks well kept so it's probably um, some kind of forest service road or something like that and there was uh, something on the tree back there calling it a channel road so I don't know what that means but can't hurt to go down and take a peek. It didn't say no enter. It's certainly pretty. This goes to Parkinson's Creek Wanda Fuca Trailhead. That's all in one kilometer, so I had no idea. It wasn't marked up at the beginning of this trail, but I've been driving on it for about 20 minutes, hoping it would turn out into some beautiful big meadow to camp in, but I haven't even seen one place to camp, so there you go. So I'm gonna turn around uh, in about 500 meters. There's another neat old bridge. You don't know if you don't go down the road you don't know but still sometimes it's a huge waste of time but uh so i'm gonna head back out to the uh highway and see what happens next another road just another innocuous kind of logging road but this one looks like there's a gate and if there's a gate that means it can close that's not good when you want to get out but I'm still gonna drive up there and take a look and there's some massive potholes right here so sorry folks there's also something over there I'm gonna go see what that is looks to be some kind of power station of some kind. Boy, it must have rained here. There's mud and puddles everywhere. It's a pump house. Let me come and take a quick peek at this place. There's just no sound coming from it. There doesn't seem to be anything going on. Renfrew Pump House. Interesting. Well, it's not a campsite though. Although, it wouldn't be that bad. Could do without the creepy hut though. I was running into those. <laughs> Oh, that's neat. I didn't know this was here or uh, even what it is really or what it does. If it has the word pump, it probably pumps water, but it's not doing anything at the moment. So I guess we'll move on. There's a lot of these nasty flies around in this place. Look at that. 
back die. He just wants me to open the window so he can get in here and eat me. road I found there's a lot of beautiful flowers blooming and of course the country is absolutely beautiful again I'm just holding my phone sorry and it's just beautiful in here and I just found water just back up a bit And the pretty flowers, of course. Let's get a little forward and see what happens. the creek gently going by again this road just goes on like this forever and there's no camp spots that's bizarre so I'm gonna get turned around somehow and head back again side of that creek. Boy, that's nice. Looks like there's a pretty spot back there. I'm just going to back up a little bit. And that log is way back there. Can you see it? That looks like a nice spot. Isn't that pretty? I turned left when I should have turned right, but um, now I'm somewhere and I don't know where that is. So uh, it's another logging road, but I've now been on the road for about four and a half hours. So I'm kind of getting sick of this. So if I don't find a place to camp soon, I'll go back there and turn right and um, I'll end up somewhere that I'm maybe a little bit familiar with, but you never know. I'll take this one last road. One last road. Well, I got some gas because I've been exploring all over the place, eating up gas, and I still have nowhere to camp. I'm gonna try going up this Gordon Road up here. So I could take the Pacific Marine route and I will do that and camp down there somewhere because I know there's spots. But um, first I wanna go take a look up this Gordon Main Road. You think you're in the middle of nowhere and then hanging from a tree is this. That's kind of strange. And there's more than one of them around too. Uh-huh. All right, let's just keep going. That's too many rubber gloves for my comfort zone. 
Hey, so apparently I'm on Avatar Grove Trailhead. I checked on uh, Gaia GPS a second ago, and uh, I don't know what that means, but it goes on for a million miles apparently. So I'm just going to keep driving for a little bit and see if anything develops. That is one hell of a long way down. That was one dusty day. Whew. You know what, it's time for a beer. You heard what I said, I need a beer. I don't drink beer very often, but um, I was at the liquor store and I saw a couple of lagers. So I thought I'd try them out. And I'm glad I did because it's real hot here right now up in the mountains. I'm way up here too. And um, I'm a little disappointed because I thought I found Big Doug, which is this giant tree. Obviously, I didn't find it. So um, I guess maybe I didn't go far enough. But geez, I was driving on this logging road for 50 miles at least. Must have been that far. It would have taken me all the way to, to uh, Port Alberni. So I'm up in the mountains here and uh, trying to avoid mosquitoes. And uh, I'm going to have myself a drink. I got camp kind of set up, kind of. And I'm going to have a simple meal. And then tomorrow I'll move on somewhere else. About to crack a beer in the heat of the sun here in the after. Well, it's 5.30. And um, it's pretty nice. This beer has been, it's a Fax Premium Lager. Uh, I don't usually drink beer. I'm a rye man. But um, I'm almost afraid to open it because it's bit shook around on logging roads for so long. Probably explode. But anyways, let's have a go. I'm parched. Oh, it's fine. Well, she's bubbling. But uh, let's have a taste. That's good. All in a night, probably pretty early, I would think, because I'm tired from driving all day. So I'll check in with you again in a little while after I uh, enjoy this beer and get going on things. If you saw my last video, you witnessed me accidentally melting my uh, fender. Fortunately, I have another one on order. But with all this dirt, you can't hardly tell where it is except for that weird smudge right there. Cool. I'll just keep it filthy all the time. So those off the worst stuff. Like these door handles.
Yes, the mosquitoes are bad. I spent the day running from the wind, and now I wish I had a little bit. I've literally killed a million mosquitoes with this thing. Sometimes it sounds like popcorn when they get hit. There's so many mosquitoes. So annoying. <laughs> Try to have a pleasant time, but then you get swarmed by the things. I guess that's the mountains for you. Okay, I really hate mosquitoes. I've killed a million of them, but they just keep coming. Uh, all I can hear is the mosquitoes going. Oh, I'm ready for bed. Well, I'm so happy to be up here right now because the mosquitoes were driving me crazy. I wish there was some way to eradicate them from the universe. I don't know, though. I'm just wondering what purpose they actually serve. Um, and uh, my vote is we eradicate them from the uh, universe. All right, so um, I'm up here now. I'm going to watch some TV and relax. It's been kind of a difficult day because it took so long to find somewhere to camp and uh, this place is okay I'm up here now and everything's kind of cool um, tomorrow I don't know what's going to happen either so we'll just kind of play it by ear we'll talk to you in the morning well good morning well it's um, a nice morning except it's cloudy and I was expecting nice hot sun. So I'm going to um, get up and get myself some coffee and just see how it goes, see how the bugs are. But I'm definitely gonna move on this morning and I may be chasing sunnier skies. So I was running from the wind and now I might be running from the clouds. So we'll see how that goes this morning. So advice to any of you short-armed people like me, a stick like this, a piece of doweling, is really handy for tucking the edges of the tent in if you can't get it all the way in. It saves having to get off here. Perfect. And away we go. Okay, so I've spoken to the um, couple of security people who are watching the main gate for this logging company up behind me here. And they gave me proper directions on how to find Big Doug. And I guess when I went out yesterday looking for it, I drove right past it. Apparently there's a fork in the road with some blue barrels. You're supposed to turn right there. And then it's 10 minutes past that. So I'm off to go find that. It's my namesake tree. Alrighty.
farther in I go, the more my anxiety peaks as the directions the security people gave me do not pan out. There's no blue barrels that they told me to turn at anywhere. I haven't seen anything like that. And now I fear that my appointment with Big Doug is um, going to be for naught. Yeah, see what happens. I'm to do a lot of sightseeing looking for Lonely Doug. Um, it hasn't been all terrible because it's kind of fun. And it's um, it's beautiful. It's just so much farther <laughs> into the woods than I've ever gone before up in this mountain. It's crazy. Okay, well, apparently it's right over here. So we'll drive up there. Well, there's the barrels lying in there, but they're on their side now. And I notice it looks like somebody's written on a rock. Lonely Doug with an arrow. Boy, did I drive too far again. Oh well. Now there's some rough road. Gonna have to pay attention for a while. Well, I feel bad that I couldn't film going up that horrible stretch of road up there when I really had to pay attention. And uh, now I'm just slowly making my way down this trail uh, to see Big Doug. Big Lonely Doug, I should say. It's a long way down on the other side. My wife wouldn't like that much. Oh, there it is. Big Lonely Doug. I like to go give it a hug, but I'm happy to look at it from here. Maybe I should camp here with Big Lonely Doug. Just what a great place to camp. It is windy, but it's keeping the mosquitoes down, except the horse flies are here. They're stronger flyers. But uh, this is pretty epic. Pretty epic. I've really never seen anything like it. It's just so perfect. It's not that it's untouched by human hands, that's for sure. But the scope of it is unbelievable. Well, I'm having a Bex. It's my second and last beer. Maybe I should have saved it for tomorrow, but that's okay. I have to do a whole lot to get camp ready. So um, I'm thirsty. Uh, yeah, stupid wind. However, it's keeping the bugs away and it's still nice and hot out. So I'm game. Ah.
to. I'm out now. I'm going to have to make more when I get home. Well, it's been such a peaceful day. The weather's been great. The bugs have been low, but they're coming out now. So I'm going to head up to the tent and do some editing. Sad to see this day go, really, because it's been a lot of fun. But I'll have fun doing some editing, too. So nothing to complain about. today the misty mountains morning big lonely dog Well guys, I guess it's time for me to leave this fantastic place. I was only here one night. Um, I wouldn't mind staying here just for the warmth and the sun. It's so amazing, but I want to try somewhere different tonight. I'm all packed up and ready to go. It's nice and warm. My uh, little temperature gauge here says it's 100 degrees. 105 degrees. I don't think that's right. Oh, well, I guess it's not working. Coffee's done, breakfast is done, and I'm ready to pull out of here. You know, it might be a good idea for me to consider getting a compressor, a decent one, because um, if I could air down my tires a little bit, boy, that would sure be helpful. It's kind of knocks you around. That's not too bad, though. But I would like to be able to air down my tires and then bump them up again when I get back to uh, pavement. minute just to put the Osmo action camera on my head although I haven't seen very much wildlife out here as a matter of fact all I've seen is a bird um, they always catch you by surprise so I thought maybe I put it on for 
part of this trip here because I can just uh, start recording immediately with it on my noggin. I look, I found this incredible place right on the beach. It's amazing. There's that back there, all those trees. We're right on the beach. The ocean's right over. Ah, it's just a sandy spot, it's not the beach at all. Fooled ya. It's nice and hot here. Sand makes it feel like the beach. Yeah, it's definitely a wash of some kind. Happy Halloween. There's so many spots like this dotted along the side of the highway that, um, I mean, it's not beautiful, but look, the sun will be here all day. It's warm. There's no wind. It's private. And uh, who knows what secrets lie down a little path like this too. We'll just take a peek. It's usually nothing, but you never know. Well, who knows? It goes on down there for a long, long way. I'm getting a little closer to, it appears to be the end here. I don't know what's going on garbage can, little camp chair. Oh yeah. Not much good for the Jeep because, although it would be fun, but leveling it would be hard. There's a trail there. Oh, is the camera running? I'll just come off the highway here to take a look at what's going on here. Holy. Wow, look at this. Well, I don't know, this looks pretty decent. And there's no logging trucks whizzing by. So I think I might see if I can position myself kind of level and hang out here. Wow, this place is pretty good. Who would have thought this was here? Look, at it's just gorgeous. And um, there's wind, but it's warm again. So I am staying right here. Nice. Well, my last view was the side of a huge mountain. And now my view is uh, a piece of the huge ocean. So that's pretty cool. I'm really happy with this spot. And uh, it's pretty tidy. And there's tons of flowers everywhere. And yeah, feels like summer. Feels like summer. Yes, this is an ocean of dandelions. Look at that beautiful ocean. Cool wall of trees. 
between that undergrowth and the ocean. Well, I have to say, I'm literally in heaven. It's just amazing, glittering waves and the beautiful mountains beyond. It's unbelievable. The sun is warm and the wind is warm. There's no bugs. I haven't had one bug since I sat down here. This right here could become my favorite place. I'm blessed to live in this country. All of us are. Thank God for Canada. Yes, as you can see, we have a very rainy morning. She's coming down pretty hard. I haven't put the awning out either. I'm just gonna go bring my coffee back up into the uh, tent and do some more editing. Yep, I think I'll just stay in here where it's nice, warm and dry with my coffee and my banana. Get something going on the TV, maybe do some editing. I'm good and comfortable. Thanks for coming along on the ride with me. The last few days have been really fun. Uh, the weather's been great, uh, except today I woke up and it was pouring rain and it's quarter after four, it's still raining. But on the upside, I got to spend all that time upstairs, cozy in the tent editing the video you're now watching. So that's pretty neat. Until next time, thank you very much for visiting Run for the Hills. And most of all, have fun out there.